Hey, hey, let's learn some math. Let's learn some math. Everybody in the club saying learn some math. I'm sorry. That was probably the dorkiest thing I've ever done. I'm so sorry. I really apologize. Let's get started. I want to teach you about the distributive property. Um, if you're going to distribute something, that means that you're going to give it equally among other people. Or actually, not to be equal. You're just going to distribute something. That means you're going to hand it out. Um, like in work and business, there's called a distributor. That's someone who hands it out to the actual companies that you buy it from. Um, like if you're in wholesale marine parts, um, you know, all those boating centers that sell boat stuff, a distributor gives them the stuff and then they sell it to the customers. Okay, they distribute the equipment out. They'll get it from the manufacturers, put it in a big warehouse, and shoot it out to people. <clears throat> in uh, mathematics, it means that you're giving another number something from another number. Okay, cool, let's go. All right, so when you use the distributive property, Essentially what you're doing, <clears throat> the, the simple way of explaining it is, you're multiplying this times everything in here, okay, one at a time. So essentially this means multiplication. If you have like two like that, that just means two times three, it equals six. Parentheses mean multiplication if another number is hanging out right next door to it, okay? So what you're doing is you're multiplying it not only by the number that's straight up right next to it, but also every number in there, okay? A lot of kids mess up on this. They'll just distribute it to the first one. I'm done. Don't do that, okay? So, uh, for instance, let's say we've got this little fella here. Distribute that eight in there. Eight times 10 is 80. And then we do eight times four, which is 32. Don't forget your sign. And then we add those two together, 112. You're done, okay? I could also do it this way. Say I didn't distribute. I did 10 plus four is 14. So it's eight times 14. And eight times 14, that's 80 plus 13 is 12, and you're done. And that's the distributive property, okay? Hello, thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe, maybe 